Hello and and welcome to another um, podcast episode from from Deku Does a Podcast. And since I'm back home now, I I am going to be going through a doing a gaming review on on like why I I think the the the, the uh, Nintendo Switch is the is the better console to uh, get. Um, and I'm not like um knocking. The like um, PS Four, PS Five. If you like um, have one or the Xbox, and I do also have a PS Four, and I better put my phone somewhere because I don't want my phone to keep going up, keep going off during this podcast. Sorry uh, about that. Um. Okay. So, so yes, I have a Nintendo Switch already. And I haven't really been playing it an awful lot, really, because uh, because these past few years, going back to uni, doing a course, I'm doing a course in factual television and journalism and creative media pr- production. So, haven't really, I don't really play the the com- the the um the X Switch. Or or the like PlayStation a lot really really most of the time I'm actually <laughs> using it for either going on to Netflix YouTube and maybe watching an anime series on fun uh fun mission. So so I don't really get time, but I go through say the best thing to me. I go through maybe a phase really and maybe see if a if a game comes out that I really want to play. I'll probably go through. A like a period where I where I will play it for one week or one month constantly const, const, because I'm trying to get from start to finish, trying like I'm playing a mile, trying to get, go through all the levels, get all the secret, get all the se- secret um s- characters unlocked, and get all the stars and to be Bowser. So it just depends, really. But in this one, I'm going to be going through it for you. And as and I obviously this is a podcast, so 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 you can't really see what it is I'm doing, but I'm going to just check you through it. So at the moment, I have so at the moment I have Fun Mission downloaded onto the Switch, and I also have you 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 cheap as well. I would it would be really great if like maybe Nintendo could like um. Could like um allow you to bring Netflix over, and see whenever the Switch first came out. I was watching a few YouTube videos, and there's a few other people saying like, "Where is Netflix? Can we watch Netflix or something on it?" And I heard from like a few sources on YouTube and a few Netflix sources that they, that they, Netflix says that that it it is a done deal. They're just waiting for the green light from the for Nintendo but it would be a good idea to bring Netflix to this Switch but not that it gets not a big deal if it doesn't because now I see after maybe oh, I don't see after was it after six months of like of the like, um, of the Switch coming out Nintendo um, made made YouTube of Official for us, and I and I last year they brought in Fun uh, Funimation and also Crunchyroll, which is I must say are which and see you just see just have YouTube. It's fantastic because I'm able to sign into my YouTube uh, my YouTube account and just by the do this year now. And I'm I'm able to watch like um any any videos I have made, I'm able to watch them right away. So I'm one with the like, Wi-Fi. Just give me a moment. But also, any like um films or TV series that I have rented or bought on on YouTube. So I'm one with the internet. I'm gonna have the checklist here because I don't know why YouTube not come on. But anyway, see with like I'm able to watch any films. I have bought on the Switch, which is a, a, a which is good. So it is. So, 
So it is kind of like having Netflix, but it's not having Netflix. But you're able on YouTube to, to make your own collection of TV shows and films that act that you would like to watch over and over again. And see with that, it kind of like, I know it's really sad to say this here, but see DVDs, DVDs and Blu-rays are done so yeah which is really sad to say i know very sad to say because sometimes it's nice to have the actual dvd or get a dvd as a birthday a birthday present christmas or just treating yourself to one same way as people go in and buying a cd all those years ago same from or like from our parents never vinyl records were a big were a very big thing and they're kind of making a comeback I mean, about these past number of several <laughs> years now so they're sh they're always making their like making a bit of a comeback <sighs> so um what was i talking about yeah so so having like so you're able to make your own cure of this so with dvds gone really you're able it's all digital these days so you're able to watch your own videos you're able to buy the films that films that, that you will purchase on dvd and and now you watch them on the switch so now i can via you watch them on youtube via the switch and i've just got wi-fi can i've just got myself I've just got myself connected to the wi-fi which is good so i should be able to log on to youtube no something something's wrong right okay well just for this We'll just pause that, okay? We'll just forget about that for a second. Okay, so that's YouTube. And the other app I told you about, and hopefully I can get onto this, is Fun Animation. Now, Fun, like Fun Animation is uh, exactly like Nef, Nef, Netflix and Disney Plus. It's an online streaming service, but it's aimed at anime TV shows. And so like no I no I like, Disney Plus want to have all their films all on one service instead of having to pay out to Netflix and other streaming services. They want to have all their products on one system. This is like Funimation is kinda of like that where it's just about all the anime TV like um, shows and it's very good. Now I haven't I'm not I haven't watched a whole lot of anime. The only shows I've actually watched is my 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 Hero Aka, My Hero Academia, and Black and Black Butler. Those are the those are only two I've actually watched really. Below I have heard of a few other anime TV shows as well, but they're not like Pokemon and Digimon, but they're not on this service. But the real thing they might come along. They might upload them in a while. Just like depends. So yeah, so yeah, so this is like fun animation, I, I, and at the moment I'm on season four of episode uh, episode eighty seven of my hero Academia. So I've just like passed the episode where um the uh, character Daku has just defeated um gentle villain and him and his classmates from one from. 1A. I hope that's right. Did I say that right? I hope it is. Yes, it is from when I have just put on a concert to all to other fellow castmates. So so now I am just about so think I'm on season four now, so I am I'm at the I'm at the episode where it is Jap it's called Jap and he's hero bill board chart. So they're about to all the heroes are getting together to like um per <laughs> to promote who he is gonna who who he is the number one hero now now that um all might has re really, like, tired and is no longer the number one villain. Okay. So I will so I will I will watch that in due course. And the next one I have is Pokemon Brian Diamond. Now the one for the Switch, I have never played the one for the DS when it came out. I've only played the the remaster one, and 
I'm almost finished it. I'm on I'm on I'm on the Pokemon League, and I failed one time, so I did it. Actually, I, I've done the Pokemon League once, but the one thing I really like now, like see, if you have the Pokemon Home app, which is really good, that I have updated it, which means that you you can now like um bring over Pokemon that you had from Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, Sword and Shield. And also any Pokemon that you have on Brain and Diamond, you can bring them over to, to other games. And also Pokemon Aries as well. So, and I was able to bring over my music. So I've got a few Pokemon on Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu that are at, sitting at levels 70, 80 and 90. And with like, I don't very, very play it as much really. But I'm able, like, since I'm so in the progress of finishing up Pokemon Diamond, I'm able to bring over, like, like some of my Mewtwo here with that thing at level 93. So with the the battles and with the progress I make on Pokemon Diamond, I could maybe bring him up to level one, level 100. And and having, like, bring it over, like, I done the first time I done the Pokemon League on Pokemon diamond i was doing i was doing really really well had my brought over my mewtwo he was at level 92 and he was the he was in the top of my um collection pokemon for the pokemon league so and he was flying through all the levels i was flying through all the gym leaders of the elite four and see when i got to the final final battle i had um, I can't pronounce the actual name of this Pokemon, but he's kind of like a, a fuzzy character. He's kind of like a jagged disc face, really, and a very jagged mouth, really, and a, a, a trapezium shaped body. Um, Mewtwo, even though he was the character I was buying was at level 60, and Mewtwo was at now at level 93, um, he, Mewtwo's attacks had no effect on him. And none of my other Pokemon's attacks had any other effect on them, so it was a bit of a <laughs> bit of like um, a turnaround. So it was like the tables had were turned on me. So even though I was flying through the Elite Four, just just using one Pokemon and just one attack after another with like one hit doing one hit wonders. So yeah, but I'm actually quite glad of that. And that other time I actually played that Pokemon League a few. Like was it last week for the first time? But prior to that, I only played it when I was flying to New York with my family, and so I was playing it at there was a thirty two thousand feet in the air, flying from flying from Dublin to New York, and that was the first time I played it since Christmas time. So it was so I go through as I said before, I go through phases really, because I've got other priorities to, to I think about. And also got Mario, Mario like party, which is I don't know, I got the like, latest one, just the one that came before that, and it's really really good. So it's it's good to be with friends. So yeah, but it's you can also still play it as a one player as well. And the other two things I really am glad that Nintendo are doing is their online service from their old from their from their games they made for the Super Nintendo and N64. So that means you can play so any of the old games you like that like um players screw up in the was it maybe well I maybe started playing them back in, in the nineties. But that's probably showing my age at the like, at the like, moment. But they were made back in the eighties and maybe the seventies. So some games I'm like not familiar with. I don't think the only po games I know are going to go on to the Super Nintendo app here. The only games I have actually know about for that is the like it are the Mario games and Donkey and Donkey Icon. Because though like, again those are the two big franchise franchises I ever played and I have updated that they've actually uh, they brought over the Super Mario World Special Edition, uh, along with Punch Out and and Kong Cause Kong Cause Kong Kong, I think that's G 
Kong Grows Caper, which I've only heard about until like, until like now. Yeah, so I'm like, see, I'll have her Donkey Kong. There's Donkey Kong too, which I actually thought that was the best one out of the like, um, Donkey Kong series. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was good. And Sub Zero X. Never really played, never played for Super Nintendo, but played. Uh, I've never really played for the N64. Never really played for the N64. I've only played the. I've only played on the um, Nintendo 64 streaming service. Okay. Yeah. And I, and I think that's a really good idea. So this. So that's the and then if you go if you go over to the um N sixty four version, which I would there these these games came out in the late nineties and the and the noughties, some of them some of them did. So I do remember all these games so I haven't played them all and I'm really see the two games probably seen seen out of college see kind like college over my go through the years and play The Legend of Zelda or Green Time and Jorah's Mask maybe go through a phase really just like go to spend one week on to play I'll do nothing but play one of those two games or both games and I've brought over um, Super, Mario, Super Mario 64 Yoshi's Yoshi's story Mario Tennis and also a, a fantastic game Banjo-Kazooie Banjo which I'm also, I'm really hoping that they bring over Banjo 2 e because that was a game I was really looking to play for the, for the N64, but they haven't brought over yet. So hopefully if Nintendo is ever, if Nintendo or anyone from Nintendo is listening to this podcast, maybe you can bring over Banjo, Banjo 2 e I think out of all of them, out of all the games I play on the N64 streaming service, um, Banjo Kazooie is probably the one I've played the most of really when I've got time. Mario Light Golf as well. Got Mario Golf. Mm -hmm. And what else? Let's see what else. Have. Um, go yeah, got Poke Come on, Oc Chris. I think I've, I think I pronounced it Oc Oc Chris. And I haven't actually finished it. I've been spending because, like I said, going through college. Haven't had time to I yeah, can play it really. I've been pretty hard, pretty organizing myself, but I'm hoping to get back into it because I like the idea. I think it's a, a fantastic move, like making like the um making a Pokemon a Pokemon game that is open world. And see when I looked at see when I saw the game like, um, trailer of it, it did remind it does remind me of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So having that freedom to like um. It's it can be like um just a redev a re develop the like, Pokemon series so it does. Mind you, same I'm playing on a Pokemon game. The only Pokemon I actually know is the first generation ones, and I've seen whenever Pokemon Go came out the app, I I surprised myself how many of how many of the first generation names I I I still remember to say. Just this one comes to the the other the comes to the second, third, fourth, and fifth generation ones. That I need to ask my friend in college really how do you pronounce that name? Mm -hmm. Also, so hopefully after my finish Pokemon Diamond, I will get on to that. So I'll hope to finish that. 50, 50, I go fifty fifty one worldwide games, and I must say this is fantastic. I have actually played this more times more as well now that I'm a bit older. I think it's not just this one isn't aimed really at kids. It's more for like maybe the say late teens and ones in their twenties and thirties. So I'm gonna have a wee game here, but I'm gonna play it here. And now that's on the um one and you can go online this game there's so there's so many games to choose like um there's so many games to choose from you can play giraffes dom dom knows ludo back um back gammon i said i was about to say black gammon there and chess I really like chess and you can play 
Where is it? Oh, golf. Golf is fantastic. Now, see the golf course? See if you've ever, if you've ever played the 51 puzzle games? The golf is... I've actually looked it up. See, it's uh, a bird's eye view. And the courses they've used are from the Wii U. So any course, so you, they are recognised. So just playing from a bird's eye view. And it's all... It's not motion control. It's just using... The I can just using the uh, joy icon, just using the analog, and even if you're just playing the analog, you're not really moving your arms. It's it's still enjoyable because uh, it's so enjoyable to do I can to play. I was, I was I was a wee bit disappointed with the golf really because I was thinking maybe well, they could really do something here with the golf. Really hoping they're going to be in the motion control. Uh -huh. But like it's so good, so this I think um my other favorite game to play on fifty one world fifty one games is darts. Darts is the no no it's not it's not the only motion con it's not the only one that's just using the uh, joy cons. It's like it's where it's motion control. It, the dart the darts is you use the you you like um, you use the switch controllers as actual darts so you actually can throw it throw them at the, your tv monitor and it's very good so maybe if i'm going to go have a game of darts here right now so tells you the tells you instructions but i'm not i'm just going to just going to skip that going to skip that okay so going to kind of Kind of okay, so I'm right handed. No, I'm actually left handed, but on darts, for some reason, I always I always use the right. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just branching out. Okay, so what happens right? Let's see. First shot. Oh, 20. Another like I'm 20. 20. That's 60. Hmm. My opponent got a triple twenty, so he's he's on hundred and thirty. I'm on I'm at sixty. So always trying to aim for the triple twenty. Did those are. Oh one no not what I wanted. Triple triple twenty. So that's me in the lead now. Could have got a bit higher. People sometimes think that the double bullseye for the bullseye is the um best like um is is the best target on the board but it's not the triple twenty is I remember watching the dark players on TV always on white they always aim for the twenty and the tw and around the top and I know why because they're always aiming for the triple the triple twenty so that gives you you get the triple twenty that's 180 points you'll get. No matter if I shout at darts, 180. I don't have a very soft voice, I have to do a big booming voice. Oh, that's good. Well, I think the 20s. I'm at 421, Poland's at 437. Yes. So he's, he's beat me, he's at 511, so I've got. My work colleague here. My triple, tri triple 20. 20. Come on. Yeah. Oh, not much in here. 11 points in it. No, 10 actually. Yeah. 10 actually. So, come on. No triple 20. Oh, one. Not where I wanted it. Good. Another one. Yes! Two eight triple twenties. Oh two eight points on it. Oh boys. So this is seven seventh round, so second to last round. Come on. Another twenty. Triple. Uh, seven and two. Seven and thirty-eight.
Oh boy, no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Another one, please get that one. This isn't up to you. Yes, hundred and forty two. He's gone again. Yep, yes. Ah, uh, I think I'm lost. Uh, I got 842 and my opponent got 978. Well, well, I done. Actually, uh, yeah. So it's between the doll, the um, golf, and the darts. I would uh, play. I would play more on that game. Okay, that's like that's like come. Let's come out of that. And I think the one game I'm gonna show you the one I want to do a quick review on is the is the is the like, switch is the switch sports. And I was thinking about buying a few more games, but I have actually got a lot of games and I have to try and finish if I get time really. But uh, the other game I need to finish off is I got back at Christmas time the um, GTA or the Grand Theft Auto Re Remastered tr trilogy with um with like with GTA Three, Vice City, and San Andreas. So haven't done a little, I've done them all, but I'm just going to focus on one or two of them at the time, really. So I'm focusing on Vice City, and I have all I have, I have those three games. I think Vice City is the best game to do I can play. I just wish maybe you were allowed to swim. Same time you hit the the ocean, you died. But so that's but that's that's what I'm going to say about that game. Uh, I've got to finish off Doctor Who: The Edge of the Edge of Reality. I do have a game for the VR for the uh, PS4, and I have finished it. And I haven't finished the one for the Switch because I'm, I'm at the point where the weeping angels are attacking in this underground maze, and. See, when I was playing on the VR, the Weeping Angels were terrifying. And see, when you're just playing it on the TV, on the Switch, that game, it, Doctor Who, is, the Weeping Angels are very terrifying. They're still terrifying. Even when I was in them, because you see the, the uh, cracks, really, the sound effects, really, and from where are they? You keep looking around. So, half the finish of that game. And... Crash Like Manic 4, finish up that game, and I think that's really it, really, just because, yeah, um, Vice, Vice City and Doctor Who was the only two games I really got to finish off. Gee, that's like um, some, I thought I had much more. But anyway, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, we're going to have, we're going to go to the main part of this podcast, and we're going to do a gaming Review on the on the on on Nintendo Switch Sports. So here we go. And I really like to do one with my dad because we still have the Wii U. And from time to time, he's he's like myself. He goes through phases. Really, one week or day, he might want to he want to play the the Wii, and he want he want to play the golf. So. And hopefully we can do a game when you see what he thinks. Do you, do you think if he compared from him, does he like the Nintendo Switch Sports or does he still prefer the like, Wii? Okay. And say so the one thing I, I was a disappointed about with the, the Nintendo Switch Sports. I know it's fantastic that it's all you're just using the Joy Cons, but it would have been also good. If they also allowed Joy Con, if you know, sorry, if they uh, if they allowed the user to either like, um, play portable, where they can just just like um, just like play it when you're just sitting like um, down. But that could be an update they're going to do later on because there's two up there. There's two updates coming out this like, year for for the for this game. There's one coming out in the summertime, and there's another update coming in the autumn time. And in the uh, what I know from the from my sources from the autumn one that they are bringing over the golf, and the golf is exactly the same as the like, as the like, um, Wii 
at Sea Egg Wee Golf. So there's the exact same courses. Maybe we maybe we have a few new icon courses add, added on to it. That's like hope. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit start and go to single player. And there's my me character. So the good thing is you can bring over your me characters or just recreate your me character on the icon switch. So because I'm hoping with because it's all set, all set. So I'm hoping like when the golf comes over me and my dad can have a wee golf fight game together because I think that's the like one game we will actually sit down and, and play from time to time just whenever we're free. I think there's been an update since I played this last which is good. Okay bonus connections. Okay that's connected. Okay. So on the Nintendo on the Nintendo, on the no, on the um, switch, on the on switch sports, we have volley, we have volleyball, badminton, bowling, um, tennis, um, swords, and we also have, now have football, and that's all <laughs> motion control. I uh, think I'm gonna play the um, tennis. So that's that's one of my favorite games to like play, so I'm going to click on tennis and it's going to search for a component. You don't have to search for a component online, you can do this here just playing, just playing again, playing with the computer. Okay, it's fine, three eight people. So here we go. Press, okay. So got three lines here. I have played this a few times really and it brings back memories from playing the Wii Sports. You do work up a bit of a sweat and every time you're about to play a game they'll, they'll tell you to stand a good distance from the TV screen and to and to use the Wii and to, and to use the and to use the straps for the um, controller so you don't accidentally the controller doesn't fly off and damage the TV or hit someone up the face. So here we go. I'm not starting first. And that's out. Hmm. That's one point to my opponent. Okay, right, I've got I've got the, I've got the focus here, so I may not be talking as much. Oh, that's oh that's one to me, so it's one all. It's really just enjoyable just watching the re again watching the replay as well it's really good and the colors are, the colors on the screen are very vibrant so they are go i didn't know there was a timer really on the surf really on this one game picked up from doing this oh oh good oh that was tough to yeah, i'm too busy talking at, at the start Mm -hmm. That's broadcasting for you. Trying to trying to do two things at once. So I'm not serving you. Okay. Oh, right again. Okay, that was my fault. That was my fault. And I haven't set the game up right. We're just in one, two. What goes just the punches is one, two, three. I didn't do this on a proper tennis match where it says fifteen. Oh, I just let that one slip by my. By me. Okay. There you go. Good job. And the more effort you put into your swing on the Joy Cons. Oh, I'm not going to job with that. Oh, two, two, four. This is a really bad game for me. Really, really bad game. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on. Oh, two five, two five. Oh, two six. This is bad. 
I'm not the breaker there, so I'm not. Okay, my side point. I think I can pull it's gonna win here. Come on, give him a wait. Three six. By by time I, I got a point. Okay, that's point me to me surf. Okay, big hearts, big heart swing. Big heart swing, come on, James. Gotta concentrate here, James. Gotta concentrate. Oh, go. Yes, all right. Four, six. Catching up. And the other game on the control, you can add your uh, emotions. Say so I think you have a sort okay, it's me to surf here, gotta concentrate here. Okay. It really is hard to broadcast and play at, at the same time. And I know how other journalists and people who are in ITV and BBC are whenever they're doing their re re AV. And I just lost that game. Don't worry, I'll like I'll I'll beat them again when I'm not doing a broadcast. And see how your characters, your your main characters, and the kind you just create, they they're very em emotional, really. They're very they're very non emotional, as no, they're very dramatic. And what's good, I think I mentioned it earlier. If you click on the R button, see the Y, X, A, and B buttons. They're your re emotions from happy, sad, disappointed to cool. So at the moment, I think I'll go for B because I'm I'm a wee bit disappointed that I lost so let me just go a few times there really I'm just crying oh well I guess you more points good swing and also give you some also good tips really how you can do it really how you back so that is the that is the tennis is your no well at the moment tell me is your joy con strap attached and mine is not but I'm not going to like it's not gonna come out of my hand so it's not so and I'll just show you the football I think the football is actually really fun so here we will search and see the football you can get a leg a leg strap re reattached where there's a strap goes around your leg and you put the joy into your leg so you're going to do like a kick so here we go searching for still searching for components because you need um 10 people to play so you need no you need eight people because there's going to be four it's going to be four on your team and four on the four on the opposite team so there's only going to be three more people to join us it's taking a bit of time searching. Um, but see on the good thing with the if you don't have the leg strap for, for the like football, you can still just use the Joy Cons right just in your hands really by 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 jumping, swinging the like um, your Joy Cons left, right, bring them together to head the ball. So it's so good really. You don't have to go out and buy the leg the like, um, leg strap like, accessory. So, you know, so click OK. Here we go. So let's have a wee quick game. So here we go. Go into the emojis. Go for a cool thing. Yeah. OK. So here we go. I don't know why I'm in pink. The good thing is, see when I practice your swing movements really before you start. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So, aim for, and the ball is nice and big, so that so you, you can see it. I need it. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if I can, come on, you gotta, you gotta go in here, lads. You gotta go. Why did I call it dash? Go, kick it. Ah, oh, kick it the wrong way. So did it. Oh, come on, dash.
pick it back up your end. Come on, summon kick it towards the goal. Come on. Remember one time in Ethiopia, I was playing football and I was going for the take uh, a go. Come on, please, please, please go in, please go in, jump, go, go, jump up. Ah. Someone get to that, someone get to that. No, no. Go. Where, where, where was our defense? It wasn't just me, there was someone else in front of me. Come on, someone kick it, come on. Go, go, come on, go, 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 go. Come on, this, this, come on, this is very tense at the moment. Very, come on, some of our team, kick it down towards the goal. Come on, come on, this is very tense at the moment. Very, come on, come on. Someone from our side. Come on. Ah. Come on, come on. Come on, kick it. That's it. Very competitive. Come on, what's in there? This is like a real football match, only 1 0. Come on. No, it's 2 0 now. I spoke too soon. <gasps> right. Golden ball says this. So, going up by single on the golden ball appears, it means it's worth two yard points. So, if it's worth two goals. So, we could get a draw here. Come on, some of our team. Kick up, kick up, kick up towards. Come on. No, not that way. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, didn't go in. Time up. Obviously, they can. They can. Obviously, they. Obviously, the lead manager puts in pink. Obviously, we're mostly supporting breast cancer awareness or something. Or maybe it's for working for Asta. Trickle like him. Trickle like pink. Okay, that's really annoying. Okay, well. Better, well, better, well, better, better, better luck next time, guys. Yeah. Um, actually, football is actually very fun to play. So, even by yourself. It's just, you just got to remember all the like, moves, really, when you're swinging. So, you, you can jump up, swing, you walk on, you draw on to kick, bring them together to head the ball. And also, you gotta remember that you, you can shout your or components to your other players of where you are on on in on the field. And that was very almost like a, a real a real football match. I thought, I thought I thought for a second I thought we were going to lose one nil. So like at that so at the moment there is six there is six there are six games and golf is coming in September. Okay, I think I'll just have another we go at the golf here. Okay. See if we got any com components. Because the golf is actually fantastic. It's like the second favourite is I think on the Wii Sports. Um um golf is like second. Second and golf is the number one sport to play. Be good if I uh, remember on the Wii Sports Resort they had archery. Be good if they both were archery and pretend they were developing archery on on the uh, on the sports game. So hopefully, 
Oh, we're playing Seance again, are we? I thought I had picked bowling. Obviously, I was out favoured. Okay, okay, here we go. So let's hope I win it this time. Okay, seven points away. Okay, concentrate now. Oh, right. What's it concentrating? Come on, that's it, that's it. One all. Big heart, big heart swing. Ah. Come on, right. Oh, this better not be a repeat of, of last time. This big, big heart swing. Oh, I should have left that. Should have left it. I wonder how good I'd be on the actual real court instead of doing this here virtually. Big heart swing. Come on, swing. That's a good jam. Good. good. And then I Oh! Hike! Mm. Missed. See me look at the game here. Okay, come on, focus, James. Got a cat, got an hour point in there. Right. Oh, whoa. oh my god. Obviously, the angels weren't with me in this side match. Oh, just be happy for sad. Crying. Hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, so my verdict, see the way Nintendo's, Nintendo Switch sports, it's really enjoyable to like, play. It's probably not good to play, well, you can like play on your own and online with friends, but like, you know, really friends, but I think it's better to play like with like um, people out of your friends or your friends. Or your family really and just and we'll just add to the whole just add to the whole ex add to the whole overall experience of the um game itself and not just from the, the Nintendo Switch sport but just the overall Nintendo Switch because I think where Nintendo do well they like make games really that are more fun to that are more fun to you again. They're more fun to play either with your friends, family, or just by or just by your like um, self. And there's no you're not gonna burn up too many brain cells really like see if you've had a hard day at work or you just come back from college or or you know or university. You could just sit down for five minutes, have like a quick game on on my on my on my cart and just so nice really. I like can remember see growing up, seeing my happy N64. I remember if my dad had a very hard time at work really and his colleagues were giving him a hard time, he would say to me, Here, James, could you like um, go and turn on Mario Kart 64? And he was my dad would sit there for about maybe half um, half an hour, be trying to, to beat his time, his like um trying to beat his time I come trials from the previous night and sometimes me and my sister would have maybe had a wee two game like with a two player or a three player game mostly it was two player because I only had the two controllers at the, day, at the time for the N64 so that's where I think Nintendo does really well the games they, they like make are more for friends and family to join in together now they do have other games like, like, like the Zelda games that are more for single player mode and that are more 
that have a bit more thought to it. They have all the puzzles and the plot to it, which is fantastic. And there are and what I'm really glad that you like glad I'll like they'll be able to bring over Crash Bandicoot over to the Switch when they when they when PlayStation remake um, remake him mastered a couple of years ago with N with the N sound the trilogy and also with Crash Bandicoot Four. And I'm actually really glad they have that they have brought over G all the like um, GTA um GTA trilogy that has been mentioned for GTA three, Vice City and San Andreas. And just for more like um just for more games that aren't just fun games but they're also more thought behind it really. There's more there's just there's just there's a storyline. If you want to have you more if you want if you're in the mood for thinking really and because they like I'm just hoping that should be a good idea if like if anyone's watching it, hopefully there are come up ideas to they're come up with, with ways to bring GTA five over to the Switch because at the moment that's that's still corny sources. That's still the even though that's been like for I think maybe ten years now maybe could be. That's like still one of the hard from my sources as well. It's one of the top ten games to get for the to buy if you're just buying a PS4 or uh, these like um these like, or buying an Xbox. It's it's still up there and it's, and it's still doing well. So be really good if I bring over GTA five onto the Switch and maybe hopefully we'll hear a room we'll hear when GTA six is going to be coming out. I don't know when they're gonna be doing but I think that the one is still in the in the in development so yep yeah, so thank you for joining me in this second like, podcast i hope you find it very helpful and if any and if you have any su- su- suggestions for any f- future like um podcasts for me to either in maybe for the Nintendo switch playstation ever book reviews film reviews or just something just let me know because even though this is like Deck Who Does a Podcast, it's not just going to be aimed at gaming or cosplay or TikTok. It's going to be aimed at anything so this. So if you have any suggestions you want me to do, just like leave a wee comment in the in the, um, in the the section below. Thank you and take care. And take care. Thank you. And also thank you to, I also have my dog here join me in this podcast. She's been lying on the bed, sleeping, sleeping. Probably like um, wondering when I'm going to take her out for a walk. Which don't worry, I'm going to take her out for a walk now, Maddie. Okay, so I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.